Hey everyone, um, at the range here with a new gun. This is a CBA Acura MRX 45 caliber. MRX 45 cal. Um, I shot it a little bit yesterday to get it sighted in and everything, and it was shooting pretty well. Uh, we're going to be running some uh, chronograph testing and some accuracy testing today with some Blackhorn 209 powder. Again, I'm using the Chedite CX2000 primers because that's all I can find. <laughs> um, and then we're going to try a, a known bullet that works really well with this gun. Um, um, power belt, as everyone knows, power belt is made by CVA, same company, superior companies, stuff like that. Um, this is a 285 grain, 45 caliber ELR bullet standing for extreme long range. And then I have a precision's rifle dead center. This is kind of a unique one. This is a 45 caliber Sabo, but it's a 357 lead bullet um, kind of a unique bullet. Uh, it's 195 grains. We're going to see how this runs in this gun as well. Um, both of these bullets have um, high ballistics coefficients um, for a muzzleloader bullet. So let's see how this goes. We got our target set up way out there at uh, 100 yards or so. And we're going to run a couple rounds of each at that target and we're going to see where we are at. Okay, just shut off three rounds of the uh, Power Belt ELR 285, 45 caliber um, out of the CVA Acura MRX. Um, let's see what we have here. We have an average of 2,039, a high of 2,061 feet per second, a low of 2,026 and a standard deviation of only 19, which is really good. And that's with 84 grains of uh, Blackhorn 209, 84 weighed grains, which is 120 grains by volume. Um, I just weigh my charges. I just think it's more accurate that way. Um, extreme spread of 35. So let's see what they did on the paper. Well, while I was placing the video, I accidentally deleted one of the videos of my... Uh precision rifle qt and the 285 elr um accuracy but i do have the target here so i'll show you that so here's the uh 285 elr um started out pretty good and then i had a flyer um i didn't i don't think it was me i'm shooting off a lead sled but i have been shooting a lot and a lot of magnum charges here so um could be, could be me, could have been me doing that. Um, but then I shot four rounds of the Precision Rifle QT-195 and um, they were shooting pretty good. I mean, about an inch and a half, give or take. Um, pretty decent. And then I backed it up to uh, 200 and was just shooting at some, uh, some six inch uh, steel plates. And I can clang them every time with, with, with the 195s. I've probably shot six or eight rounds at it hit it every time so uh it's a really good it's about dead on at this at this uh at this height um shooting this high um i dropped it down a little bit so it was right at a three and a half four inches high at 100 yards that's dead on at 200 um i just point dead on with the crosshairs at a six inch plate at 200 and hit it every time <laughs> 